relocating to the Raleigh area and you've heard of the suburb Clayton and you're wondering if this town would be a good fit for you and your family to live. Clayton is a town located in Johnston County, which is just south of Wake County. Clayton has a small time vibe. And one of the things I love about Clayton is its proximity to the beaches. Now going to Wrightsville Beach will take you just about two hours to get there. That was actually the first beach that we visited when we moved to Clayton ourselves. It's not too bad, further than we would have liked because we came from Southern California and we only were six miles from the beach. So it's definitely a little trek, but you can still make a day trip out of it. You can also head up to Emmer Isle, which is gonna take you about 20 more minutes to drive. We absolutely love it there. In fact, we bought a house in Emmer Isle and you guessed it, the waters are green, which is how it got its name. Hey y'all, welcome to the channel or welcome back. I'm Brandi Niemergut, a local real estate agent right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Your connection to all things real estate and all things Raleigh. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please click the like button and tap that little bell and you'll be notified every time we drop a new video. Not only do we love making these videos to help y'all, we would love it even more to help you with your real estate needs. All you have to do is reach out right here. You'll see my phone number and my email. You can text, call, email, however you want to get a hold of me. I got your back when relocating to Raleigh, North Carolina. Clayton has some really great parks and walking trails. And about a mile outside of downtown, you're gonna find Sam's Branch Greenway and also Clayton Riverwalk, which connects to the Noose River Trail that runs along the Noose River all the way up to Falls Dam Lake, which is about a 33 mile bike or walk from Clayton. Okay, so we're just gonna jump right on in and we're gonna start with downtown Clayton. Now, downtown Clayton is a really popular spot with the local residents and they've done a really great job of bringing the community together. In fact, the last Friday of each month, they actually shut down downtown and everybody's able to walk around. When the weather's warm enough, they have movies at town square. People bring their blankets or their chairs. You have food trucks, vendors. A lot of the shops will stay out, stay up late. I mean, stay open late. And there's just really great things from cute little boutiques. And then in the fall, they even have the Clayton Fall Festival that draws over 30,000 people here locally. And it's five days of just fun. You can enjoy carnival rides, foods, there's live music, there's a bouncy house, face painting for the kids, a barbecue contest. And then again, they'll do a movie. I think last year they did Hocus Pocus. It's just a lot of fun. And people locally that live here, as well as the surrounding areas will come just to have a good time. And within the downtown area, there's a lot of great things to do. You have everything from restaurants, you have Manning's. That was actually the first restaurant we ate at when we came here, had some shrimp and grits. It was absolutely delicious. And then you have Clayton Steakhouse. They don't have much besides steak, potatoes, and salad. There are a few more things on the menu, but it's a pretty simple menu, but it's super delicious. Service is always great. And that was our second restaurant that we came to down here. Now, downtown Clayton has a lot of great things to do. Besides restaurants, there's a brewery, place for wine. You got coffee shops and really cute boutiques. There's even barber shops to get your hair cut and a flower shop, jewelry hair, you name it. It's here. One of the fun and unique things to do for fun around here is axe throwing at Epic Axe. Now, this is something new for me. We had never heard of this, but it's quite popular out here. And you actually can get together with a group of friends and throw some axes around. So definitely a lot of fun, good workout. Probably just don't want to drink too much when you're throwing the axe around. There's also monster batting cages, so you can go out with the kids or the group of friends and hit some balls in the cage. Or if you like to shoot hoops, you can go to the community center for indoor basketball. You don't have a lot of box chains here in Clayton, but there is a Walmart and it's not too far from Garner. So about a 15 minute drive and you'll be at Target. You have Best Buy, a lot of different shops and restaurants, and they even have a Chick-fil-A. So even though there's not a lot of box stores here in Clayton, it's still a great downtown. It's a vibrant downtown feel with a mix of historic historical places along with new places. And I love that all the locals and the businesses are super friendly. Everybody seems like family. It's just a really tight knit community. There's even a community garden and
and a food pantry that you can either take food if you need it or add food and donate it to help others with a hand up. Now Clayton has a little over 29,000 residents here. And while that may seem like a small number, there's some great employers here who call Clayton home. Here in Johnston, schools and the health sector employ over a thousand people. And then we have two healthcare manufacturing company, Griffles and Nova Nordisk. Next up, let's talk about schools. Now Clayton is in Johnston County. You also have Orange, Chatham, Durham, and Wake County. Now, according to niche.com, school ratings here in Clayton are a B plus. You're gonna find public schools, charter schools, and even private schools. And here in Johnston County, there's also a high population of homeschooled children. So if you homeschool your children and wanna continue that, there's actually a private Facebook page here where moms get together to have some play dates and just ask each other for help. Speaking of private schools, recently Thales Academy was opened in Flowers Plantation. And that's thanks to the generosity of Rebecca Flowers who donated over 19 acres for this school to be built. And the school opened a year earlier than expected. The Flowers family has done so much for the community here and there's so much history between the family and this town. I'm gonna drop a little article in here for you to find out more. The median price point in Clayton in early 2023 is approximately 385,000. You'll find homes are more affordable in Johnston County versus Wake County. For example, in Raleigh, a median house price point is gonna be about 420,000. But if you don't mind driving a little bit further for amenities to go to downtown Raleigh or concerts, events, some other restaurants, the price difference will definitely save you some money. Now for a new construction, 385,000 will get you a house like this about a four bedroom, three bath house, almost 2,200 square feet on a third of an acre, or you can get a house like this. This resale home is a three bedroom, two and a half bath, almost 2,600 square feet at about just under half an acre. Next up, let's talk about great neighborhoods. Now Clayton is a fast growing area. There's a lot of new build communities. So you're, if you're interested in a new build, you definitely have a lot of options here. And in more established communities, you'll find bigger size yards versus the new construction that are gonna have smaller yards. But that does seem to be the new norm in all the suburbs versus one or two decades ago. Now, one of the communities I wanted to spotlight is Flowers Plantation. They have over 40 communities, the vibrant community that has everything close by from shopping to walking trails to dining to schools. They have a clubhouse, the YMCA, the pool, they do family things like movie nights. It just seems to be a really tight-knit community. Harris Teeter is just right down the way. You have coffee shops, ice cream, Mexican restaurants. So everything's right off the 42 highway. Now in these communities, you're gonna find everything from townhomes to apartments to single family homes, all the way up to custom homes. Your townhomes are gonna run approximately 290,000 up. And then your single family homes are gonna run anywhere on average from 325 all the way up to 800,000 plus. Currently in early 2023, there's approximately 44 homes currently available. And one of the things that residents love about Flowers Plantation is that you only pay county tax, don't have to pay the city tax, which definitely saves you money. Now the current tax rate is 0.73, and city is 0.60. Flowers released information on the new waterfront hotel that they're gonna be building, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Not only is this area going to have the hotel, there's gonna be over 300 condos, shopping, restaurants, apartments, and townhomes in the coming years. For this waterfront district, there's plans to have the first tenants in mid to late 2024. Now I know when I first moved here, people said Clayton was gonna be like the next carry. Don't get mad at that. You'll have to drop it in the comments and let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think Clayton's gonna be like the next carry? Another popular community here is Portofino. Now if you love horses and wide open spaces, you'll love this community. Right when you drive in the community to your left, you're gonna see horses, you see the stables. Some people even have horses on their own property. Now, depending if you're wanting a smaller yard that's less maintenance, or if you're wanting several acres, it has a nice mix of both in this community. Now, current price point in this community, there's not a whole lot available, but you're gonna run right around 633,000 all the way up to 1.5 million. Now, the higher price points, they are gonna be custom homes, and they're gonna be anywhere from an acre all the way up to 10 acres I've seen. So Portofino is gonna have a completely different feel from Flowers Plantation in regards to the horses, the extra space in the yard, compared to Flowers Plantation, which is gonna be a more tight-knit and close community. What's nice about both communities though, there's walking trails, there's the pool, and they're both close to all the shops and restaurants. By now, I think you're starting to see why so many people love Clayton and consider it their home. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please click the like button so others like you can find this information as well. And if you're considering relocating to Clayton or anywhere surrounding the Raleigh area, we would love to help you. All you have to do is reach out to us 
Right here's our phone number and email. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. However you want to get a hold of us, we got your back when relocating to Raleigh, North Carolina. Till next time, we'll see you all later. Thank you.